welcome to the video. Thank you so much for watching. I am super excited about finally posting this video since it has essentially been an entire year since I've started working on making over my screened in porch. I'm going to share the entire process with you guys, which includes painting the beams of my screened in porch, cleaning it, painting the back door, adding new furniture, decor, everything. So here is a before of the space. The screened in porch is one of the main reasons my boyfriend and I bought this house. We love this area and since we have two cats, they absolutely love this area too. So it's just a basic screened porch with a cement floor and like just plain wood beams that are like pressure treated pine. So to brighten up the space, I knew I wanted to paint all of the support beams white. Before painting, of course, I am always all about my prep work. So I have some TSP or trisodium phosphate, which is a heavy duty cleaning product, as well as this drill attachment scrub brush. And I just went through, hosed down the entire surface and used that TSP mixture to really clean the surface well. So I used a microfiber cloth to slap it on and just really make sure the wood was absorbing it. And then I would go back over it with the scrub brush drill attachment to really lift up the dirt and debris on there. And here's a look at the outside of my porch after I had cleaned it. So the wood is a lot fresher and cleaner looking than it was before, but here is also just an outside view so you kind of get the layout. And cleaning that wood made a huge difference in it aesthetically. So even if you didn't want to paint your porch or maybe you want to stain it instead, just, just cleaning it completely transformed it. So next up, I'm going in and doing what may or may not have been a waste of time. So I wanted to go through and fill some of the holes and cracks that were in the support beams, but there were so many of them that I just, I couldn't even like keep up. Now that it has been a year, I can also say like more have occurred. So I really don't think this was necessarily worth my efforts. I did also fill some of the screw holes, which I think that did help clean it up a little bit, but depending on your situation, this may or may not be worth your time. And then after filling as many cracks and holes as I felt like I could, I went through with my palm sander. So I was able to sand down my plastic wood fillings and then just smooth out the wood surfaces as best as possible for a good paint application, which I can say this extra step definitely made a difference. And then before I start to paint, I am cleaning off the surface again since I had sanded. Lots of cleaning involved here. All right, to start off painting, I did decide to tape off certain sections, which I will discuss more in detail later in the video, but I didn't want to get sloppy on my concrete floor since that is always really hard to take paint off of. And the paint that I am using to paint the wood beams is this exterior barn and fence paint, which is by Bear from Home Depot. I had bought this on a whim to paint something a couple months ago and I really liked the quality of the paint. It has good coverage. I didn't necessarily need a livestock safe paint, but I do have cats who hang out here, so why not? So I found using a standard hand paintbrush for this worked the best. Like I said, I'm going to talk about the taping situation a little bit later, but I'm using my favorite paintbrush, which I'll have linked below for you guys, along with tons of other things down in the description box if you're interested in anything else you see in this video. As I'm moving along here, you will see just from doing that first coat, the coverage of this paint is really good.
All right, so I wanted to take a minute and talk to you guys a little bit about my taping situation. So the inside is complete right now. I'm finishing up painting the outside. When I first was painting the inside, I had intended to tape everything off. All the tape you see here is actually on the outside. It's not on the inside. But I only taped off this section to see how that worked compared to freehand, just freehand cutting in over on the rest of it. I really didn't think it made that big of a difference, so I didn't bother taping off the rest of the inside. So all of this, I just cut in freehand. It's definitely not perfect, but the reason I ended up taping off everything outside is because the wood here is way thinner than the wood on the other side. So this was way more difficult to cut in and I found that down there I was starting to do it without tape. I felt like I was sloppy and getting white paint on the screen so I ended up just taking the time to tape everything off outside. So that's my tip about taping. If you feel very good with your cutting it in um, straight edges and have a lot of like control with that, then I think you would be fine not taping. But if you are generally kind of sloppy with paint, I think you should take the extra step and the extra time to tape it off. So that's my two cents about taping. Everything was done and painted. My porch was so dirty for me going in and outside and tracking dirt. So I knew it was time to do a big pressure wash in here. So here's a look at the before and then here is how it looked after I cleaned everything. And this was basically the extent of everything I did last summer. I didn't really get to a lot of decorating. And then now we're jumping into what I have done this year. So previously the door to this patio was red, just like the same color of all the exterior doors of the house, which I do not like red at all. So I decided to paint both the front and back side of this door a shade of black. And since this is the next year, I did need to clean the door before I started painting. So I pulled back out those drill attachment sponges and just used some dish soap and made sure the nooks and crannies of this door were really clean. And then I am taping off as per usual, so around all the glass and trim work. So apparently I didn't get a shot of the paint that I chose to use, but I went with the Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint. I have previously used this paint and I really, really like the quality of it. It is a steeper price point than most paints, but if you have the budget for it, I always recommend this for doors and furniture or anything that is gonna get a lot of wear and tear. I picked a satin finish in a color that is not quite black and not quite charcoal. I don't remember the name of it right now, but if I do, I will put it in the description box.
I purchased this sectional here. It is by Better Homes and Gardens brand from Walmart. The set came with this little kind of coffee dining table combo and I got the idea to put casters on it just so it would be easier to maneuver it around the porch. I purchased this kind of vintage window painted artwork from a local shop. So I am prepping that so I can hang it up on the vinyl siding on my porch. They make these little vinyl siding hangers that just slip right under. Super easy to use, they don't do any damage, and they can hold a decent amount of weight. And then I'm just adding some picture frame hanging hooks on the back of the window and using the trusty painter's tape method to line my hooks up. And now I'm just going through and putting more of the like finishing touch decor details on my porch. And I will say, I don't feel like it's necessarily done. This is such a big space to decorate, so I still feel like there are kind of some empty corners. So with some of those spots, I am filling in with just like little vignettes of plants. And then I have this little cat hammock that was gifted to my cats for Christmas that I am hanging up here. And here is the final reveal of the porch. I am so happy with how this turned out, you guys. Like I said, it's been over a year. I've worked very hard on this. I plan on posting a follow-up video to this one that is gonna be a full in-depth porch tour so you'll get more information about the decor and a lot of my design choices. But if you guys have any questions about painting a screened in porch or anything like that, just drop me a comment down below. Like I said, I still don't feel like this space is necessarily finished by any means, but I'm really proud of how far it's come.
If you guys enjoyed this video, it inspired you or motivated you, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And for more DIY home decor projects like this one, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for your support, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!